Welcome to all. Today we are going to discuss about the MCQs on the digestion and absorption. This is the part 6 and today we are with some questions which are very very important. So please concentrate on these questions. The very first, the hormone which is involved, the hormone which is involved in the discharge of pancreatic juice in mammals is called means the question wants to ask that the hormone which is actually doing the action on the pancreas so that the pancreatic juice is released in the mammals is called as so gastrin secretin secretin and cck which is also called as the cholecystokinin and the antiogesterone so always remember the hormone which is involved in the discharge of the pancreatic juice in the mammals are the two hormones one is known as the secretin and the second one is known as the CCK that is the cholecystokinin so the answer of the question number one must be C that is secretin as well as cholecystokinin question number two enterokinase stimulates which of the following now you must be knowing that when we study the physiology of the digestion in that portion we always say that there is an inactive enzyme called as the trypsinogen and trypsinogen is converted into an active protein digesting enzyme known as the trypsin and the trypsinogen is converted into trypsin by the action of the enterokinase so the question is enterokinase stimulates so definitely the enterokinase will stimulate what the trypsinogen so that the trypsinogen is converted into the active trypsin so the question number two must be having the answer d that is the trypsinogen fine now the third one maximum digestion of food takes place in now this is a very important question uh, and where we commit mistakes there are only three places in our body where the digestion occur either in the buccal cavity or in the stomach or in the intestine fine so maximum digestion of food takes place in the stomach jejunum colon or the duodenum so always remember that maximum digestion occur in small intestine that we know very well and the small intestine consists of three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum and always remember that the maximum digestion of food takes place in duodenum that is the first part of the small intestine so the question number three is having the answer d question number four kessel's intrinsic factor is connected with internal absorption of remember that kessel intrinsic factor is actually responsible for the absorption of vitamin b12 which is also called as cyanocobalamine in the stomach so kessel intrinsic factor is connected with the internal absorption of pyridoxin riboflavin thiamine or cobalamin cobalamin means what cyanocobalamin or the vitamin b12 so always remember kessel intrinsic factor found in the stomach is connected with the internal absorption of the vitamin b12 or cyanocobal amine so answer of question number four is d now question number five fatty acids in glycerol you know very well that when lipid is digested then fatty acids and glycerols are formed and this fatty acids and glycerols are first absorbed by lymph vessels blood blood capillaries or hepatic portal vein as you know very well that fats are not easily dissolvable in the blood so fatty acids and glycerols are first absorbed by lymph vessels okay so the question number five is having the answer a first that is lymph vessels question number six animals which eat their own fecal matter or which eat their own waste matter which eat their own feces are called as so always remember the animals which eat their own fecal matter are called as coprophagus are called as what coprophagus organisms and this phenomenon is also called as the coprophagy and it occurs in the rabbit it occurs in the 
rabbit to animal which eat their own fecal matter or which eat their own waste matter right are coprophagous say for the best example is the rabbit and rabbit do this for the purpose of the cellulose digestion so coprophagous question number 6 is having the answer c okay so students today by this video we have discussed some important questions regarding the digestive system so thanks a lot for watching me